Hello everyone, it's Jazzy34 here, and I'm just going to be showing one of the things that's been keeping me busy during this quarantine. I've just been kind of going back to this adult coloring book, so it's got like the nice little Mandela patterns here, so I've just been kind of keeping busy with it. I haven't gotten, I haven't done too much with it though, but i just kind of been finding like little ones that, that keep me, you know, that I wanted to do at the moment, so I know I did this like a couple of months ago, so yeah, I'm really, really like how, I, how that came out. And this one I did yesterday, so you can kind of see that. And this is the one that I did yesterday, so this is kind of how I wanted to color it in. I also did this one a couple of months ago, too, along with the first pattern on the front page there. And this was another one I did yesterday, too, as well. So I figure since I'm on this page, I might as well do this one on the side. So I'm just going to just do this pattern for now. And along with my purchase of this coloring book, I did get some little coloring markers as well. Really like this pack. And look, I got it for cheap with a discount. You can see all the colors together there. So I'm figuring out. Mm, I'll probably start with the leaves on the side, so. Yeah, I definitely want to start with the green. Now, um, my idea with these ones, I'm not going to, like, exactly, like, color the whole thing in. I figure I'll probably just, like, highlight it. I mean, after all, I can just kind of color it the way I want to, so. So, yeah, I'm just going to highlight the lines on the side. That ends with that side, so as you can see, it's not like I just kind of shaded it in, so it just kind of highlights the side, so it still looks like it has like the green, the green hue on it, so it's still, it still looks pretty hued up. And so, next, I'm going to do these side leaves here, so I'm going to probably choose like a two color pattern on here, so I need like a light and a dark one. Especially for this leaf, so I probably want to choose. Hmm, I think I need a dark and a light, so I'm definitely going to choose this one as my light color. So it's probably going to come out like I believe it came out like about this color or something like that. I don't know why, but oh well. I think for my dark one, I'll probably choose the red one. Yeah, so I think these two would probably work for that. So yeah, probably do like each at a time, I'm going to go through layers. So the first top part here would be this color. And then the next layer will be the red. So yeah, I'm just going to go through that. This side, I'm going to also use another two set color scheme. Although it's just like a little bit of difference in it. For this pattern, these two colors will be used. I'm going to show you how I'm going to shade this one. So, start with the, yep, start with the light color. And it's going to shade the outside. Strangely, that would be the light one, but it's showing dark. Oh well. 
I guess historically it's in the regular blue, but oh well. It makes it look like it's supposed to be like a light blue, but oh well. The thing in this is that there's no, you can't really make any mistakes, you know. And for this one, what I'm just going to do, I'm not going to shade it in. I'm just going to kind of highlight the, the little, these little strings here. So yeah, just going to leave it like that. So it's going to have a nice little pop-up seam there. So these two colors will be used for that one. So it'll go to this one. So this one will like the outside with the pink. This one will also be just highlighting the strands, little strands here. That looks really nice. How about we try these two next? So, I'm probably thinking the outside highlight would be. I'll choose the blue one to highlight the outside and then we'll do the inside. Now with the inside I'll probably show how I'm going to do that. But it's pressure here so but let me do the outside first and I'll show you how I'm going to do the rest with the other color. See, I'm not going to highlight on the inside part. So what I'm going to do with the these little strands right here, those I'm going to use the light color for. And do the next layer with the same one on just the outside part and the strands would be the same color yellow. For this middle part now since every you notice I haven't highlighted that those strains with the yellow one. What I'm going to use is a different color to make that part pop up. So I'm going to use the real dark red. So technically that one, I'm just going to finish like that. So I don't want to shade that in because I think that just looks really nice. I like how that looks. So as you can see that's how it looks up close and of course like most of the ones I haven't shaded in that's the way I like it so sometimes shading it in would just be a little too much although I did just kind of shade this one in but oh well that's how I want it to be so yeah I think that looks 
pretty nice just the way it is. And I just wanted to just kind of highlight and make it pop like it was just a little something to keep me busy and stuff like that. And plus I got a whole bunch of other pages to go through. So but you know, it's always time. I hope you enjoyed this little video and everyone have a nice day.